All right, I'll try to finish this thing up. Well, actually, I can't finish up. No, this won't do it. No, I've got to, there's still more to come here. Yeah. But this is from the book I published called uh, the, the Quran Says What? And being that I feel that this video is going to be removed, I'll be focusing my attention more on this one here. Okay. Continue here. All right. Uh, this is called Sailor Nu Round 2. Although Sailor Nu deleted his comments, I responded to you back in February of this year. I looked for him to see if he also deleted his comment. I also looked to see if he deleted his account. Finding that he has he hadn't done so, I came upon one of his videos and placed the following comment on it. It went like this. Um, It'd be nice if we could have unity, but Quran 96, Quran 98.6 says non-Muslims are the worst of creation. A dog and a pig are creations of Allah. That means in Islam, non-Muslims are worse than dogs and pigs. With that in mind, I don't see how there can be any unity. I don't see how there can be any unity. And this is on the Muslim video, Eschatology Introduction. Which got Sailor New saying, Wow, small world, we meet again. <laughs> uh, not knowing if uh, truly it was the guy, I said uh, to him, uh, You seem familiar. I bet we did meet before. Well, according to Christian and uh, a Jewish. Weird. Okay. Well, according to Christian and Jewish and other faiths believe that we will abide in hell, thus the worst of creatures. Uh, Quran 98.1 quote, saith uh, Sahih International, quote, those who disbelieved among the people of the scripture and the polytheists were not to be parted from misbelief, but there came to them clear evidence. True, but in Christianity you have God in the form of Jesus Christ dying for your sins to get you in heaven, whereas in Islam you have Jews and Christians being your unwitting Jesus Christ scapegoats going into hell as ransom for really evil Muslims. I say really evil Muslims because Sahih Muslim six 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 five six 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 and six 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 eight I believe it is. Yeah. I don't think 6667 is there. It's 6666, 665, 668, I believe. It says Jews and or Christians who go who, says says it says the Jew or Christian who goes into hell as ransom for uh, the really evil Muslim says the Muslims who escape hell due to the Jew or Christian being their ransom have that these Muslims have uh, sins quote as heavy as mountains. I know, I know. It, it goes against the Quran scripture. No bearer of sins can bear the burden of another. Actually, it's no bearer of burdens can bear the burden of another, which means no bearer of sins can bear the the no bearer of sins can bear the sin of another. But hey, it is Sahih, authentic Muslim hadith that says that. Quran ninety eight one, Sahih International. Those who disbelieved among the people of the scripture and the polytheists were not to be parted from misbelief until there came to them clear evidence. And that's wrong to want clear evidence? Uh, a messenger from Allah recited purified scriptures. Purified scriptures? You mean they were dirty or corrupted before? Within which are correct writings. Uh, nor did those who were given the scripture become divided until after there had come to them clear evidence. What? So before clear evidence showed up, they were unified. Unified in what? And clear evidence of what? And they were not commanded except to worship Allah, being sincere to him in religion, inclining to truth, and to establish prayer, and to give 
zakah and that is the correct religion well says the Quran I see indeed they who disbelieve among the people of the scripture and the polytheists will be in the fire of hell abiding eternally therein those are the worst of creatures because we want clear evidence really well guess what if it truly was discovered that embryos do go through a, a 40 day blood clot stage like the Quran infers and Muhammad says and if the sun truly was orbiting the earth and setting in the muddy spring where it then asks or seeks permission to rise again and after prostrate under the throne of Allah after it sets uh, and if the earth truly was spread out on the back of a giant fish called Nun a giant fish called Nun also, also has be called behem, behem, it has some other names too. And if the sun and moon were traveling in boats similar to Noah, that'd be Quran 36, 40 through 42. Guess what? If all that was found out to be true, that to me would be clear evidence. And I'd have to join ISIS to obey Quran 9, 111, 38, 39, even though the same hadith that has Muhammad saying we are blood clots for 40 days later says that an angel then comes to us in the womb to give us instructions from Allah to let us know someday whether we will be in hell or not. Read in context. Exactly. You're allegedly a writer. Learn how to read. I was writing before I was reading. Do you see the past context in it? The people who were shown signs have the current people around us who are of these faiths been shown signs today I don't see how all that you posted above contradicts why I put how the Quran says non-Muslims are the worst of creation do you see how it contradicts it it's in the title well well whether infidels need more evidence for the Quran to be quote clear signs or not for them the Quran well clear signs uh, says non-Muslims are the worst of creation and if that is true how can you a Muslim not be alienated toward us you don't see how that causes problems to call people the worst of creation and where they are being damned forever and eternity in eternity you know by the way if there is eternal damnation and the same alienating factor is created with the Bible and Christianity as well not just Islam and the Quran. How can you love someone if a loving God or Allah, loving Allah, is going to have that person roasting for eternity in hell? It seems impossible. Yeah. Do you know how to read or are you just dumb? <laughs> Do you know how to read? You mean read into things? If so, well, I, I try not to. Or are you just dumb? What is the title? Eschatology, it seems. You want to talk about corruption of the Bible? You mean the book before scriptures? The Quran says in Surah 1094 to come to me for my reading, not reciting, but my reading of? Sure, let's go there, okay? I've still got some time to finish this up, okay. Yeah, let's go there. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, now a person who knows anything about scrutinizing scriptures is simple. Numerology. What? Might be a new concept to you, but something I actually thrive in. You thrive in numerology. Okay. Uh, you have checked the numerology in all scriptures, even ones which didn't make it to the canon. I think he means canon. And yes, all have elements of numerology. Well, huh, numerology. To me, to me, numerology is reading into things. It's seeing coincidences and thinking they are cool. That's to me. That's what numerology is to me. And it gives me something to see. I go, which is, you, as an author, fail big. You as an author fail big time. At what? That is a given. Fail. 
at what? Sorry, but given your real criticism, which you don't take into account, and because of it will impact on your career. You sure? Well, fail at what? At selling what I write? Yeah. If so, that is understandable since I'm not famous. But since exposing what you feel is stupid or evil about the Quran is considered, since that's considered slandering the Prophet of Islam, and since Oblamer said there must be no future for those who would slander the Prophet of Islam, well, hey, you think the powers that be uh, will ever allow me to be famous enough to sell what I write? I write and publish books, not for money. But do it for the same reason a street preacher preaches on a street corner with people laughing at him. It's for religious reasons, not money or fame. Besides, if God wants my books to, to take off and sell, they will do that in spite of a blamer and the powers that be. If not, then I'll remain the street preacher with people laughing at him. I leave it all in God's hands. Have you read all the other chapters? Chapters of what? The Quran? If you read all the chapters of the book the before scriptures, the Quran says it confirms and reminds. Why does the title suggest what it does? Title. What is the lead up to all of this? Signs. Do you know how much truth the Vatican hides? This is speaking about them. <laughs> I guess he's into, uh, yeah. What is the Vatican hiding? That Jesus was an alien from uh, the planet Alturas? Uh, what? Have you heard of Bible codes? Yes. Well, let me tell you this. They have been put by Masons. They've been put by Masons of the past to carry out an agenda of, of the future. All code. Masons wrote the Torah? It's a Torah that the Bible codes all reside in. You know, really. Are you saying the Masons wrote the Torah? Because it's the Bible codes, it's yeah the Bible codes all reside in the in the Torah. Now it will be so difficult for a person to get an app 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 for the Quranic codes. Why? Because of what it holds. You sure it's not because a goat ate away part of it, or do you not believe that part of the Hadith that has Aisha saying that? You need to be a a level 33 degree mason before you can even have access to such material or detail. What? A goat was a 33 degree mason level. Mason? Eating away a part of the Quran? And that is why there are no Quran codes? You sure about that? So all of what you wrote goes to the crapper. What did I write? All I do mostly is use a Socratic method of asking Muslims questions, which eventually becomes books on how they responded to those questions. So, are you saying the Muslims in my books are wrong? I think I better quit here. Yeah, I gotta quit.